Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF news video. Illumix is dropping Wave 2 of the FNAF Special Delivery Merchandise tomorrow on August the 3rd. Originally, I was just going to put this in the FNAF uh, news video with all the other news that we've gotten so far, um, and that was probably going to come out like tomorrow or something, but they have released a video, a showcase video on the new merchandise, and it's 11 minutes long, so I'm like, you know what? We can't fit that in the news video. Let's just make it its own video. Which, by the way, I want to say this, because this is absolutely hilarious. Um, they uploaded a 11 minute showcase video on the brand new merchandise. They took that down, right? They took the tweets about it down as well, and they re-uploaded it, um, one minute shorter. 10 minutes. Now, I don't know why they did this. I have, of course, my theories. The 11 minute video, uh, Kieran is the one showcasing the new merchandise, and she was you can tell she's not used to doing this because she was stumbling a lot. I think she did it all in one take as well, so that was pretty incredible for her. Right, so she was messing up awards a bit, kind of like me. She was stumbling. Uh, at one point, she even swore doing it, so that's probably another reason why they took it down. But luckily for you guys, I actually got a recording of that original video, and that is the one that we are going to be looking at today. I'm sure the 10 minute one is exactly the same, so I'm not going to be looking at that one. They just said it's more compact and tightened down for um, people that don't have an extra minute to watch it. So let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the brand new Wave 2 FNAF AR merchandise showcase. Let's all smash the like at the same time. 3, 2, 1, go 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 go. So I'm going to be doing this in the format of a commentary video where I show bits of the video and then I talk about it for a little bit. It's going to be much easier than just reacting to it. Now, I actually really like how this starts off. I love the uh, the logo for Arcade Mayhem. I love that it's on like a really old fashioned TV. I think that's a really cool intro. I will say that this new wave of merchandise for FNAF Special Delivery is really, really good. You can tell that they did really listen to the community and take in our feedback because let's all be honest here, the first wave of FNAF AR merchandise was not all that good. They really stepped it up here. As you'll see later in the video, they did a great job. I love this. I just like love these tiny little touches. Um, we have a stamp of special delivery inside of the box, which I love. That stamp is cool. I'll be honest. That stamp's real nice. If they release a stamp for that logo, honestly, I would consider buying it. These come in our bundles and in some of our packages for this next drop. So take a look. This is actually way cooler than the one on my computer. Look, it's like shiny and reflective and really awesome actually. I want that sticker, but you have to buy a bundle in order to get it, which is a bit upsetting, but I see why they did that. It's actually a really smart idea to do that, but ugh, I really want that sticker, but I don't know if I'm gonna buy a bundle. And these you can only get by ordering a package this time or one of the bundles. And so take a look, these will be very, very special limited edition and you won't get them again. So make sure you try to get something this time. Speaking about that limited edition thing that she's talking about with the sticker, um, I don't know if the entirety of Wave uh, 1 was limited edition because the whole website is down currently. Like, you can't look at it at all. When I went to the website today, um, it said become a VIP, which is weird because I've already became a VIP, so I don't know why it asked me to do that again. But even when I did sign up again, I still couldn't see anything. So I don't know if that's a glitch or if Wave uh, 1 was completely limited edition. I have no clue. But yeah, apparently that sticker is limited edition, so if you want to get it, you gotta get it right now. At least when it drops tomorrow. Another thing is that apparently this whole wave is pre-order only, which I really have no clue why they did it this way. I think they blamed it on um, COVID and shipping stuff, which, you know, I, I get. They even said that all of this merchandise is extremely limited edition, like extremely. They have a very, very tight supply of these. Um, so yeah, I, that, that really does suck. I don't like that part about this new wave, but what can you do, I guess? We left you guys all a little thank you note. We really are so thankful to everyone in the community, all of the fans, everyone who has supported us through all of this. We are learning as we go and we really are listening to you and we really just appreciate you guys being along for the ride. So. Thank you. And look at this. I don't know if you can see this, but this is actually like a Foxy card. I have a collection of these. And so 
we're really excited to kind of print our awesome renders and artwork on each one. And there'll be a different one of these each time. So please take a look and see which ones you can collect. So I'm excited about that. I get it, you know, you know, they want to leave a nice message for people that bought the merchandise but I don't know it feels like they're just trying to turn it into like a Pokemon card situation where you got to collect them all because each card is going to have a different render of a character so not only do we have FNAF Pokemon Go but we also have FNAF Pokemon trading cards I don't know it's, it's a little weird I will say but I do kind of like it this is amazing so we have really worked and actually it feels amazing too we have really worked to bring way higher quality products so the shirts the kind of hoodies, everything is just a higher quality material. And I mean, it goes without saying, look at that print. It looks unbelievable. The colors look amazing. Just so good. Oh, this is awesome. And of course, look at the design guys, brand new artwork for you. All of our designs will have brand new artworks. Okay, so again, thankfully, everything is a lot more higher quality, made with a much better material, treated a lot better. And the designs are so, so much better than the first wave. I mean, just look at this virtual uh, VR Toy Freddy skin. You got the two skins. They're doing like the, uh, I can't, I can't do it. But you know, the meme with the hands, they're doing that. I don't know if it's supposed to be a reference to that meme, but that is exactly what they're doing. It's got the logo. It's got the Arcade Mayhem logo. I don't know why they put the FNAF AR logo there. It seems a bit out of place, but whatever. Maybe like put it on the back, but it looks so good right? It looks so good. The renders look fantastic. The colors look really good. Overall, so much better than the first wave. Illumix, thank you so much. This is exactly what we want. Hopefully they don't boost up the prices for this new higher quality and higher designed merchandise. If they do, I am, I, I, I could punch Toy Freddy in his fat face. We are also now on a complete pre-order model, so you have to pre-order. There are only four days to get these items because we're gonna keep them really limited because we did improve the quality so much, and hopefully having it pre-order should really help, particularly with COVID. You'll get everything on a specific date. It will be really organized. There'll be no confusion about multiple packages or you know our distributors and shippers doing things in crazy long cycles because of the COVID problem. So. Hopefully that will be much better. Okay, so here they talk about the uh, only four days to buy these items, which I, I don't know. Again, they, they talk about the pandemic, they talk about shipping and all that stuff, but it's also interesting to think about it at, from, a, from a, uh, a business side. I think nobody was surprised when the first wave didn't do that well. So I feel like when, when they put a limited supply on everything, it'll make people act fast. Also, because this is more higher quality, you know, uh, the material's better, everything about it is better. I wonder if they w were really tight on a budget with these merchandise? I don't know. It's it's interesting to think about why they did it this way, not only for shipping in the pandemic. I feel like there was definitely some, some things going on behind the scenes that, you know, really made them make this decision, you know? Have AR enabled tags on every single item, and... Yeah, now I'm gonna let you guys guess actually what this AR experience is. I don't wanna ruin all of the fun right away. And so I'll post on my Instagram later. So she's talking about the new AR technology that comes with this new wave of merchandise. I just checked her Instagram. She hasn't posted anything about it just yet. So unfortunately I can't show that to you guys, uh, but do uh, keep an eye out on her Instagram. It's linked down below if you wanna go check her out um, because hopefully she'll be posting that very soon. I love these icon shirts. They're one of our best sellers. It seems like you guys love them too. So we did an art arcade mayhem version which is really cool and kind of retro so hopefully you guys are liking this and i will show you what this looks like on so yeah another piece of clothing is the icons shirt uh, again she's wearing it right now i pointed it out earlier with freddy chica foxy and bonnie and this new arcade mayhem t-shirt has vr toy freddy uh oh god now i gotta remember all their names high school toy chica System Aero Toy Bunny in 8-Bit Baby. It also has the logo on it. Uh, I don't know if all of these come in separate colors. Uh, again, I think the original Icon one came in black and white, I want to say. So I don't know if all these t-shirts will come in black and white, or if they'll come in red, blue. I have no clue, because uh, again, I can't check the store, because it's down. I guess it's on some downtime for the new drop, which again, releases tomorrow. Here does some modeling. If you want to go check it out, it's in the video. It doesn't add a whole lot to 
this video that I'm making, so I won't include it here. But if you want to go see how some of these shorts look on someone, again, you can go check out the video. It's linked down below. I am wearing my favorite shirt from our previous collection. I think it's also Scott's favorite shirt. Um, this for, is the Forever Friends kind of icon t-shirt. I guess Scott's favorite t-shirt is the icons t-shirt. Interesting thing to note. Wow. I think it should be really obvious, honestly, just looking at that and how amazing this print quality is. We really listened to your feedback. One, look at the design. Look at that. So brand new artwork across the board. The printing quality looks insane. We are using the highest quality people to make this just really high quality merch and the shirt itself this is a much higher quality shirt so we really hope you guys enjoy that we're trying to kind of up level on everything they're really slapping it in your face like you know this is really high quality it's really nice again that's that's another piece of evidence that stacks onto my theory that like it, it cost a lot to make these shirts, as opposed to the previous wave, which I'm guessing was very, very cheap to make. I have a feeling that this cost a lot of money, which is why it's, uh, you know, pre-order only, which is why you only have four days to buy it, why it's always going to be in limited supply, and why they just have few t-shirts of these. I don't know. Again, it's interesting. I would love to know what's going on behind the scenes. There's got to be some reason, right? Because COVID didn't seem to affect the production of the last wave. It didn't really seem to, you know, affect the shipping of the last wave. So why is it, why are they doing it now for this higher quality merchandise? You know, um, maybe I'm reading too far into it. If you want to see the whole gang in action, not just Freddy. Oh, sorry. If you want, so. If you want to see the whole gang in action and not just Toy Freddy, nope, sorry, keep fucking that up. We're gonna have to edit that part out, but. Ah, uh, but you forgot, didn't you, Kieran? Which is why you had to re-upload the video. Oh, it's beautiful. Again, I'm pretty sure this is the main reason why they re-uploaded the video and deleted the original one, um, was because, you know, she, she kept it up which oh my god it's just great it's just great i just find it hilarious and this is probably the main reason why they re-uploaded it because i checked and she she does not say it in the re-upload so there's that you're welcome twitter for that i know a lot of people wanted this so there you go and if you're looking for the entire gang look at this i thought the previous one was my favorite shirt but maybe this one actually will be because it has everyone together and i'm just loving this design. Again, all of the renders, all of the new artwork that uh, is being made for these merchandise, this new wave is absolutely spectacular. It looks so, so good. I love it. It looks so much better than the first wave. You got System Aero Toy Bonnie, you got VR Toy Freddy, High Score Toy Chica, and 8-Bit Baby all grouped together on this t-shirt with the logo. It looks so, so good. High score and game over. I love this. I really do. I really like how they took advantage of VR Toy Freddy and High School Toy Chica having technically two different skins, even though they are part of one skin. I really liked how they made t-shirts featuring both the two variants of the same skin. I think it worked out really, really well. This one looks great. You know, you got uh, red High School Toy Chica and blue High School Toy Chica. I don't know if they have specific names. I think the red one is called Game Over. Toy Chica. This one, again, looks so good. I love all of the new designs for the shirts. They look great. It's also worth noting that uh, the tweet they sent out saying join Illumix CEO uh, Kieran and having a first look at port of the exciting new Arcade Mayhem merch drop. So this is only part of the new drop. You know, I'm sure they are going to have more designs, maybe even more posters and mugs like what they did with the last wave. And our big character from this whole collection, 8-Bit Baby. I'm actually really liking how this feels super retro and just really cute and... And then, of course, they have the star of Arcade Mayhem, the final character, 8-Bit Baby on a t-shirt. I think this one looks really good. There's not much you can do with a 8-Bit character, but I think they pulled it off pretty well. Probably because 8-Bit Baby isn't technically 8-Bit, you know, she is 3D, just in the form 
of an 8-bit character. So again, I think they pulled this off really well with this t-shirt and this character. Thank you guys so much. We absolutely love you. Thank you for being part of this community. Thank you for letting us be a part of this community with you. We have the best time and we really are trying to make everything we do better for you. And I am so excited for this fall and even end of August. I think there'll be some stuff that you guys will really, really like, but I won't say more. Uh, I've already said too much probably, but thank you guys. It has been a pleasure. And that is the end of that. So they, she said a few, I'm guessing non-merchandise uh, information about the game itself at the very end which I do want to talk just a little bit about because um, it is kind of new information kind of old information so we knew that when fall comes around that there will be new characters coming to special delivery not just skins anymore actual characters but the main thing I want to talk about is she says that we need to be excited for the end of August um, because a brand new character is coming this month in August I'm guessing it's coming at the very end then like the final week of August, which is kind of disappointing. I was kind of hoping for a, a mid-month character, but whatever. The um, the sizzling event is lasting two more weeks, so I guess that makes more sense. So predictions for that character, pff, I really got no clue. Puppet, maybe, maybe the Phantoms, maybe the Nightmares, Withers, I don't really know. They have so many characters that they can just throw in at this point now, and basically anyone and everyone will be excited because it's a new character and we haven't gotten one for a really long time. But in summary, wave two of the Five Nights at Freddy's AR special delivery merchandise is dropping tomorrow, August the 3rd at 9 a.m. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Pacific Standard Time. So that is 12 a.m. Eastern Standard, and that would be, what, uh, 5 p.m. Uh, if you're living in the United Kingdom. Those are the only conversions I can do in my head right now, so if you live somewhere else, I'll know, just get a converter going on. New t-shirts, new sweatshirts, um, I'm pr pretty sure there's probably gonna be some tank tops as well, like the last wave. The sticker, um, is also being released if you buy a package, if you buy a bundle, you'll get a little card, uh, with a render of a character as well as a AR filter that you can use on Snapchat. And there will probably be more merchandise like mugs, maybe even posters, the same thing that they did with the last wave. So yeah, that goes down tomorrow, 9 a.m. PST. Get there because apparently it's pre-order only, you only got four days to get them, so that's a bummer. That is the whole original video, including Kieran swearing, which is just hilarious. I just checked her Instagram, she's not posted the filter just yet, so you're gonna have to keep an eye out on that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.